Hello there, and um, please excuse the uh, wall. It's not quite as a uh, geek filled as usual, but I'm in the process of uh, moving my set for these videos so that we can have the blue wall, hopefully for some uh, amazing special effects when I eventually figure out how to do them. Um, one of the things I wanted to talk about in this video, the reason I'm making this video, is to show you the awesome mouse I bought. Now, I know many of you won't be, you know, interested, but just start watching. Fine, I won't hold it against you or anything. Um, so, I bought Lekesis by Razer, and it is a 5600 DPI gaming mouse. Now, the reason I bought it was in the process of moving the desk, my old mouse, which was a Microsoft X8, I want to say X8 or X6 gaming mouse, squarey button, very nice mouse actually, a little bit big though. So, it fell off the desk. Uh, and then there was some problems that I had with the button not responding and I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to buy a new mouse. So I spent about, I think the mouse on its own would have been about £59, but I did buy a keyboard as well, but I'm not going to go into that today because, I'll be honest, I'm still working out how to use it properly. I know where the buttons are, I'm talking about the menus. Uh, so the, the mouse, it's 5600 DPI, Lekesis Gaming Mouse. Now one of the things I want to show you is this cool logo, look, there you go, lights up fades away lights up see playing havoc with the autofocus um, the mouse has got this really really nice cut. I don't know if I can actually get it to show up on the camera I'm not sure if it'll focus on it but it's like um, it's a little bit like the cord you get on, on the old irons which is you know like the old for ironing your clothes sorry I don't know if Americans have a different name um, it's a wire but it's coated in like a plastic like a plastic weave would be the best way to describe it. It feels like a like a, a like a material, like cotton when you touch it, but it's, it's definitely a plastic weave of some sort. Uh, the mouse itself has got awesome lights there. Let's just look at the camera. So there. Let's see if we can get it to focus a bit better. Uh, the wheel has got lights each side of it. Not that it makes a difference to performance, but it uh, it's it's very nice to use. It's and it, it's got this like clicky feel to it. Um, nice and bright mouse there. Uh, proper Teflon feet, not that plastic you get normally. It's like a stone. It feels like um, profile button and uh, a lens, a laser type thing that thankfully the camera doesn't pick up and blind you ended that. Uh, it's got two buttons here, which I've mapped to DPI forward and down in increments of 125 DPI. So by tapping it quickly, I can get the perfect DPI for the game I'm in buttons, there's no actual separate piece of plastic on the buttons here either. It's all one piece of plastic. Uh, it's very flexible. Uh, you can push the button quite about halfway down the mouse, you can start pushing the button. But as you can see, when you put your fingers on it, it's actually really comfortable there. You know, you, you let your fingers just rest, and it's down to dexterous mouse, which means you've got your back and forward buttons on one side, and your back and forward buttons on the other side. But obviously, I'm right-handed. Not that obvious, I suppose. But I'm only using two of the buttons back and forth. So the other buttons I've programmed uh, to be the uh, numlock key and the uh, I key. And anyone who's ever played MMOs knows that those are pretty important keys. And so now no configuring the game, I just tap the button and I can auto rudder open my bags in MMOs because I'm that kind of geek to be honest. Yeah. Um, the software for the mouse is a little bit precarious. I had a problem getting the software to install in Windows XP, no, Windows 7 X64. Uh, the 5600 DPI software specifically didn't work, but the regular Lekesis drivers seems to work fine. And I've had a quick Google around, and it seems to be just me having the problem. So I dare say we'll make the jump to the Windows 8 beta hopefully very soon. If they ever get their backsides in gear, I'll be able to use it. That is the performance. Um, I've had a Razer mouse before, I had a Krayat, which was 1600 DPI, and then I went to a SciTech mouse, and then I had a Microsoft mouse. I had another like mouse in between all that. I can't remember that one was, but um, this is the first 5,600 DPI I've had. The Microsoft mouse I had went up to 4,000, I believe, just with even 4,000. Now that extra 1,600 DPI doesn't make a difference, if I'm honest. Uh, I've played uh, some Modern Warfare 2, which I'm not very good at, and I don't really like the game, but it's good because you can jump in and play, and you can fiddle these settings because. I'm not really emotionally invested in the matches, so I can just get a feel for it in a shootout. And yeah, it's a uh, it's a good mouse, there's no doubt. <coughs> because there's no display on the screen of what DPI I'm at, 
I can't say if what I play at but I just sort of tap it, tap the little button on the top to get the speed I want and then I just play at that but it's nice to be able to adjust it so if I, if I pick up um, a sniper rifle for instance as you know the, the screen sort of slows down so you can account for that by upping it which I'm not sure it's cheating I assume most people do that now um, it's just like having an aim button I suppose on, on the like, the uh, the Cytec mice have the rats but yeah it, it's really nice mouse I mean the glide um, on my mat which is a steel series mat it, it's very smooth completely frictionless uh, doesn't make any sounds at all, no, no audible feedback, uh, nothing on the mouse at all to get caught in anything. And I don't know if you can focus on that. There's the uh, 5600 DPI 3G. It's a, it's a great mouse, anyway. And really, this is a video just because I haven't released one in a while. I've been playing my mouse and I thought, hey, let's show the world this mouse. Uh, I'd like to see if anyone has got feedback on uh, Razer mice. If anyone's bought the Indominator or the Intimidator, or the Im Imitator, the all these different mice. If you've got a Razer mouse, I'd love to see it, see what you think, we can compare notes. Is everyone's drivers a bit comparious now, or is it just mine? I don't know. Uh, feedback is welcome, thank you for watching as always, and hopefully uh, you've enjoyed this video. And I will be doing uh, some game reviews shortly, hopefully, some, as soon as I get fraps to record properly and then encode properly, but you guys don't want to hear about that. So, thanks for watching, uh, subscribe, and please visit questhard.com. Thanks.